All right, greetings, Kines 310. It's Dr. Campbell doing a micro lecture on right versus left. This isn't uh, for one particular student. Several students have reached out asking a clarification that should have been clarified on the first test, uh, where I went into detail explaining about perspectives and and how we can make sure we're all on the same page in regard to right versus left. But there needs to be some uh, better clarification, and I'm going to take responsibility for that. So I have uh, going to have a little helper come in a little second. But just to remember, this bottle is on my right. This bottle is on my left. But it may not be your right, your left, right? It may not be your right and your left. Left, no. Right, left, right. It could be confusing, but it doesn't have to be confusing. And it will not be confusing after I get my teaching assistant who flew all the way in from Texas to help us out today. And uh, we're going to clear this up. Clear as the water in the Delcom Canal. Okay. So let me introduce you to my teaching assistant for today, Mr. Bucky. I'm so happy to be here in class and help out. Dr. Brown, I love helping kids. And you guys can grow up and graduate and then get good paying jobs and then spit all your money and buckets. I'm sorry, guys. I get a little carried away. And, uh, and uh, sorry, I got a little, a little barbecue sauce on my lip right there. Last night we had a big barbecue in the bucket combat. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm going to help Dr. Bryan explain the difference between right and left in kinesiology. Okay, Bucky, thank you for that introduction. Very interesting. Bucky, show the class your left arm. Here it is. This is my left arm and Bucky has an old World War II injury to this arm. It hurts Bucky something awful. So this here is my left arm. So Bucky, your left arm has an old war injury from World War II, correct? Yes, it does. This one right here. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. When I'm counting all my money, I mean, when I'm going through all the deposits and, and I'm working and oh, it hurts. Bucky, so this arm is your left arm and it hurts. Well, what happens if you turned around and looked the other way? You mean like this? Yeah. Now, does that become your right arm because it's on a different side? No, this is still my left arm. <laughs> are, you, are you from Delcom or something? This is my left arm. Yes, I am from Delcom. That's not very nice, Bucky. So... Maybe from someone who's observing you, it may change from their perspective of right and left. But your old war injury is still on the same arm for you, right? I mean, this is the same arm you were waving when you were looking at the computer. That's right. This is my left, whether I'm looking at you beautiful people that are eventually going to come to Bucky's and spend all your money, or whether I'm over here, it's the same arm. This is my left arm, whether I'm facing the chalkboard or if I'm facing the, the whatever this doohickey my bobber thing is, it's the same arm. So, Bucky, I think the lesson that we learned here is that side in kinesiology, human movement, needs to be from the person's perspective that we're analyzing. Not from the observer's perspective, because that can change. Your hurt arm could be my left if I'm looking behind you, or it could be my right if, I'm, if you're looking right at me, if I'm looking in front of you. So from the observer's perspective, it could change depending on how you look. And, but from your perspective, it never changed. This was your left arm, your hurt arm, whether you were facing me or facing the chalkboard, it's the same arm. So I learned something today, Bucky. I learned that 
perception is from the person you are observing's perspective, not from the observer's perspective. Am I right? You sure are right, Dr. Campbell. Oh, you're so smart. You know rights and lefts. And, and I just want to say before I, I leave, uh, whether your name is Alice or Timmy, you come over to Bucky's and you spend all your stimmy. <laughs> all right, guys. Bye. Thank you, Bucky. So I think what we learned today is what we learned today, what I'm trying to clarify in a different way. I'm trying to reach the people is that your perspective can change. The analogy I gave on the first test is the amputation of the leg, right? Amputate right leg. Well, depending on how I'm looking at it, that could be the wrong leg. Their right leg is always going to be the same on them. Bucky's hurt shoulder is always going to be the same hurt shoulder on him. It has to be his left because then it will never change. Okay. So this micro lecture is brought to you by the number three and the letter G. Hit me up if you have any questions. Hope this helped.